Hello, ladies and gentlemen, business owners, my fellow citizens in Connecticut. I have informed our seven um, Congress and senators in Connecticut. We have a special man here. Here he is, Joe Courtney. And this video today is about quality expert Daryl Guberman explains FAA regulator Boeing 2009 to present to Congressman Joe Courtney. Yes, Joe. But let me tell you a little bit of background about this. We have approximately 3.6 million people in Connecticut. That said, and I hate that statement, but I'm using it today. That said, that means seven representatives have to watch over 500,000 constituents. And dear God, Joe, I hope you listen to me and do something about this because this is about Connecticut and its citizens. This is about the United States and the country. This is about worldwide travel on airplanes. You can do a lot by listening to Daryl Guberman, who's been involved with quality for 40 plus years. Please sit down, I'm gonna read you the letter. It's gonna be in the description with all pertinent data. So your personnel do not have to look it up. We've got it all. If you have any questions, contact me, 203-556-1493 or Daryl, TQRS at yahoo.com. And always remember this, David Foster Wallace said, the truth will set you free, but not until it is finished with you. And here we go. Congressman Joe Courtney. No one has come up with the root cause of Boeing's issues. The articles attached all contain information that Boeing has interlocking directorates and board membership that are have compromised quality. These associations are deleterious to our government and corporations. I am Daryl Guberman, quality expert with over 40 plus years in quality and manufacturing, aerospace, medical implants, medical materials, printing and plastic distribution. My company has been involved with quality and accreditation standards and manufacturing for many years, now 13 years in business. And as such, I possess such information that I can share with you the extensive knowledge in the area of manufacturing and quality certification. Would be a valuable, <clears throat> it would be valuable to expose the root causes of quality deficiencies, escapes at Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Pfizer, and Johnson Johnson, just to name a few. The articles would assist you in the very complicated area of quality and need someone like me to clarify the issues involved. My company has been damaged by Boeing, also Lockheed Martin, and others. I would like your assistance during the years 2012 to present. Boeing suppressed my ability as a quality registrar to compete with ANSI, the American National Standards Institute, who is a hundred year old company, not profit corporation, which has both federal agencies and corporations sitting on their board. The American National Accreditation Board, ANAP. The companies joined forces in 2018. They are both accreditation bodies who are also underwriters for the International Accreditation Forum incorporated in Delaware, USA. They are also a repository for national and international accreditation bodies. They are also underwriters for ILAC, the uh, ILAC along with the IF, the International Laboratory Accreditation Cooperation out of Australia. Both IAF and ILAC are sister organizations. Their suppression began in 2002 with Boeing's supplier bulletin calling for ANSI ANAB certification submission of the certification with supplied materials without the need of Boeing sending in the inspectors to ensure materials, quality, and supplier was not making parts out in a swamp. This has gone on for 22 years. Further suppression came from Boeing supplier portal, which instructs and mandates suppliers they must be ANSI ANAB accredited or internationally equivalent. It was finally exacerbated by Boeing's membership on ANSI's board and ANSI's board of directors and the, and the ANAB Management Accreditation Council, which grants, suspends, or withdraw certification of accreditation bodies and registrars. This suppression of my registration company is a blatant restraint of trade and against the Sherman Antitrust and Federal Anti-Monopoly and Antitrust Statute. I have a YouTube channel which is embedded in these articles attached. There will be no way per the FAA, Boeing will clean the quality quagmire they have up in 90 days. After all, you will find out 2009 to present, Joe, <clears throat> that the FAA made Boeing a regulatory authority. 2002 to present, 
Um, Boeing put out a supplier bulletin, PQIT-02-001, that stated, send in your ANSI ANAB certification for AS9100 Aerospace International Standard. By the way, Boeing sits on their accreditation bodies' boards of ANSI and ANAB. You will find additional information in the attached articles. Also, they are specified on Boeing supplier portal or internationally equivalent. You will find all supporting documentation and proof in this article uh, and in concert with articles attached and embedded web links. Basically, the Boeing supplier bulletin went like this, Joe, and I'm going to read this to you, okay? Send in your Boeing, say, uh, send Boeing your AS9100 certification accredited by ANSI ANAB. Remember, ANSI ANAB are required on their supplier portal or internationally equivalent can be Iran and Pakistan. Remember, 9-11, Pakistan, and they are equivalent to ANSI ANAB accreditation. Please note, Iran has been taken off the IF because of lack of payment, Joe. The next one, you send in the CERT, ANSI ANAB accredited, AS9100, send in your parts. Boeing does not have to do audits of suppliers. This has gone on for 22 years, Joe. Please find featured articles below and embedded links with the articles that corroborate the information. We have done all the research for you. Boeing pushed supplier inspection onto a piece of paper called AS9100 for 22 years. They never perform many of the audits needed to keep people safe. They also sit on the accreditation bodies board, ANSI ANAP. The last item is that ANSI ANAP are underwriters for the IAF and ILAC and those that sit on it. Meaning, if there is a system failure or product failure, they are part of the parties that are responsible. And one of the worst problems, Joe, when you find this out, that the FAA made Boeing a regulatory authority rather than their management, the CEO, taking and grabbing and doing with pride they use the FAA regulatory authority to cut corners. The MCAS system, for example. Joe, I look forward to hearing from you. Again, 203-556-1493 or Daryl, tqrs at yahoo.com. And the final thing I'm going to tell you is who I am, Joe. I love the man who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink. And he whose heart is firm and conscience approves his conduct shall pursue his principles unto death. Thomas Paine. I thank you, Joe, for showing up. And I thank you too as well, ladies and gentlemen.